Hey there, 1B. You ready to listen to another chapter of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Today is chapter five, The Golden Tickets. Now, if you remember anything about Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, the golden tickets are those special prizes that allow people to go into the factory. And we are going to learn about that today. Chapter five, The Golden Tickets. You mean people are actually going to be allowed to go inside the factory? cried Grandpa Joe. Read us what it says, quickly. All right, said Mr. Bucket, smoothing out the newspaper. Listen. Evening Bulletin. Mr. Willy Wonka, the candy-making genius from, no, from whom nobody has seen in the last 10 years, sent out the following notice today. I, Willy Wonka, have decided to allow five children, just five, mind you, and no more, to visit my factory this year. These lucky five will be shown around personally by me, and they will be allowed to see all the secrets and magic of my factory. Then, at the end of the tour, as a special present, all of them will be given enough chocolates and candies to last them the rest of their lives. So watch out for the golden tickets. Five golden tickets have been printed on golden paper, and these five golden tickets have been hidden underneath the ordinary wrapping paper of five ordinary candy bars. There are five candy bars, maybe anywhere, in any shop, in any street, in any town, in any country in the world, upon any counter where Wonka's candies are sold. And the five lucky finders of these five golden tickets are the only ones who will be allowed to visit my factory and see what it is like now inside. Good luck to you all and happy hunting. Signed, Willy Wonka. That man's daddy, muttered Grandma Josephine. He's brilliant, cried Grandpa Joe. He's a magician. Just imagine what will happen now. The whole world will be searching for those golden tickets. Everyone will be buying Wonka's candy bars in hope of finding one. He'll sell more than ever before. Oh, how exciting it would be to find one. All of the chocolate and candies that you could eat for the rest of your life? Free, said Grandpa George. Just imagine that. They'd have to deliver them in a truck, said Grandma Georgina. It makes me quite ill to think of it, said Grandma Josephine. Nonsense, cried Grandpa Joe. Wouldn't it be something, Charlie, to open up a bar of candy and to see a golden ticket glistening inside? It certainly would, Grandpa, but there isn't a hope, Charlie said sadly. I only get one bar a year. You never know, darling, said Grandma Georgina. It's your birthday next week. You have just as much chance as anyone else. I'm afraid it simply isn't true, said Grandpa George. The kids who are going to find the golden tickets are the ones who can afford to buy candy bars every day. Our Charlie only gets one a year. There isn't a hope. And that is the end of chapter five. What do you think? Do you think Charlie is going to find a golden ticket hiding inside his birthday candy bar? We will see next time we listen. Chapter six is called The First Two Finders. Until next time, friends, thanks for listening.